Hello everyone and welcome to my filter and piercings one year update! Yay! So here it is. I have had this piercing for one year. It is crazy because I've never had like an oral piercing last this long. I've always had complications with them and not that this one didn't come with its own complications. But I mean like it's done and over with, with the healing process, it doesn't really bother me that much. So I kept it in and I never took it out and this is pretty much <laughs> my update, which is crazy. Let's start with the cons of having a filter and piercing again, now that the initial healing process is over and I've lived with it for a year, I have found that it's pretty much like an easy piercing, except for the fact that it still kind of like scrapes against the top of my teeth. Like it never did, but say if I'm going like this for some reason, like if I'm blowing my nose, or if I'm like going like this, or I don't know, if I bump it, it'll like go down and then like hit my teeth. And that really scares me because I don't have that great teeth to begin with. And I know I said that like if it went down to it, I wouldn't be upset if I had to pull out all of my teeth and get fake ones because it's at that point where my oral health is that bad. I mean like I brush my teeth, but like I am just prone to like dental issues, like cavities and just all of these things and like I have no enamel on my teeth for some reason. I don't know. This has just been a lifetime thing and I'm old but I'm not old enough to have like all these fake teeth and dentures and stuff but at the same time like my mother has had like fake teeth in the front for like my entire life so I know it's coming because she definitely had me when she was younger than me and she already had fake teeth at that time <laughs> so it's coming anyway back on track it hits my teeth sometimes. I do worry about like scraping. I know a couple of people say that they do have sensitivity in the front two teeth because the piercing back has scraped away their enamel and they're like, if you look really closely, you can see exactly where the scrapes are. And I'm like, oh, that's creepy. I don't really want to know, but thank you. The second thing is I blow my nose every single day. People commented in my last video, um, like about my 10 cons, that snot should not get stuck in your piercing. However, I blow my nose every single day. I don't have allergies, but I have just like, I just have a runny nose. It always, always, always runs. It could be 100 degrees outside and my nose is still running. And people just don't understand that like the distance between here and here is not large, okay? So when I blow my nose, like, it's literally like half an inch. If I had a ruler, I would measure it, but I don't have a ruler. But if you can see like here to here, not a lot of space. So <laughs> I blow my nose and if it's like a lot of snot, it's like in the piercing. So after I do blow my nose, I have to go in and like clean it out like with my fingers. I have to like pick out my boogies. I don't have boogers, but I have to pick out like the snot from my filter and piercing and people are just like, what are you doing? And I'm just like, don't bother me, please don't. I just don't, just don't look at me. Just don't. So that is another thing that I'm still just like, oh, I mean, pros and cons, right? Is it worth it to keep it in? The third big con is the hiding thing. I did post a video out to actually about hiding it and then another one about my experience of hiding it for an entire month and that is another thing it's just like I think that the way that I hit it was pretty okay um I don't think that it was very noticeable but in the back of my mind I'm like what if people can see it what if they're like what is that um and I have also tried glass retainers I have also tried just taking the top off and I find that the way that I have chosen to hide mine is the one that looks the closest to not having anything at all but even still it was just like I can still see this you know I wonder if other people can see this 
I still to this day get people going like, what's that? And it's just like, even when I'm hiding it or when I'm not hiding it, it doesn't matter. And it's just like, oh, it's a piercing. And it's just like, I can't, I just don't like talking to people if I have nothing to say to them. So having to answer questions is very annoying, which I know is part of it because I used to have more like questionable piercings where people were like, how does that work? Like I used to have a microdermal or microdermals when they were like new and no one else had them. So I got like a lot of people like following me down the street, having conversations with me and asking me these things. And I just didn't realize that that would happen again because I had this, but it does. It's pretty much now like the 10 cons and now it's mostly three cons um, of having it. Oh, I will say the one thing that is really annoying is that, so a lot of people don't realize, I guess, that the backs of your oral piercings will eventually like gather gunk on them. It's like plaque or tartar or what, I can't remember which one is which, but like, it starts coating the back of your piercings and I never had a problem with like the lower lip piercings because when you're like brushing your teeth you can just kind of go like this and like brush your <laughs> piercing back but I feel like with this one um, I when I started noticing that it was like gathering that kind of stuff I was just like do I go like this and like brush the top <laughs> like I was just like this doesn't make any sense what do I do so in order for me to get like any buildup off of it instead of like brushing it I like flip it like this and then I just kind of like scratch the the disc and just like scratch it clean which I don't know if it's like bad to do because like my fingers are in my mouth and I'm kind of like jostling around and I don't know I'm just like I don't know I mean it's worked for me so far so I'm not really going to say that it's bad, but I'm sure there are better ways of doing it than that, but I just can't see myself brushing it like I did for the piercings down here. Yeah. Another strange thing is going to the dentist. I do refuse to remove this when going to the dentist. So when I get x-rays, they just don't do the front and they'll just only do the back up to like here, which is fine because I feel like that's really the most important part anyway. I feel like if you had any cavities in the front of your teeth, you'd be able to see them just by looking in the mirror um, because there's not that big of a space between like your teeth. Um, so I don't really care to be honest, but that's another thing that people are like, uh, you have to take out your piercing. And I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> so I get like inadequate dental care, but it's my own problem, I guess. Okay. So that's like five things really. Um, but they're not really cons. It's more of like personal choices that I have made due to this piercing. But all in all, like other than that, like I still think it's cute. I think it accentuates my face. I think a filtrum piercing accentuates anybody's face. Um, I haven't had any real problems with it swelling up really big, except for that time when I ate the uh, two times spicy nuclear fire ramen. That time my lips swelled up so big that I had to change the bar again. But other than that, I haven't had any swelling. I haven't had any like weird pussing, I haven't had any pain, um, the back of the disc hasn't nested in my lip like everybody else's has, apparently. Um, I used to have that problem with all of my piercings on the bottom, like it would start nesting into my lip, but this one does not, as you can see. You can still see the entire back of my piercing. And I mean, like, I literally have no complaints that are real complaints other than the cons, which are just things to think about. Um, so yeah, I do see myself keeping it in uh, longer. I don't really have any reason to remove it. Um, I have thought about 
taking it out because I'm like, well, you know, what if I want another job? What if, you know, like I get like a haircut and it doesn't match me anymore? <laughs> uh, what if this? What if that? What if? I don't know. Just like what ifs. And right now I don't feel the need to do it. And I'm also a little scared of the hole that it's going to leave when I take it out. Like I don't, like I think that like Filtrum Scar is cute on a lot of other people, but I feel like it would just bother me a lot because it will just look like a giant like blackhead on top of my lip. Those are things to think about for another day. Today, I am still very glad to have it. I still love it very much. I still think it's a great decision that I made a year ago and I have no plans to remove it or change it or do anything to it. Um, and I don't know, I just love it. Like it's pretty much my favorite facial piercing on my own face. Um, my second one would be my septum and my third one would be my nostril, obviously. I've never had like an oral piercing fit my face so well and I just look back on old pictures where I had like side and middle done and I'm just like ugh, it looks so bad <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it's not going to happen with this but you never know. Everybody always looks back on their old photos like oh my god what was I doing that was such a bad decision <laughs> so we'll see in the future but for now this is it. I love it. This is my one year update. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!